Did the Eagle Riggy have sons that were made into the Brigada? If so, concurrently involved in the life or perhaps in the can? Thanks. Again, that's Elizabeth um, Kenilworth, but I think he had a son, Manny. Manny, and, John Jr., I think Vincent. And Vincent, Vinny, yeah. Yeah, and all that. I, I don't know the status of them, but yeah. The, so this is on Wikipedia, so I'm not saying anything other. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm not like. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing. But uh, them three allegedly became made. Uh, Manny passed in 2016. I actually met Manny at my cousin's wedding. A great right. guy. A great guy. So he okay, real guy. quick. When yeah. the, day I, the day I had to go on the lamb, I was hiding out. I was at a friend of mine's mother's house, and I was watching TV, drinking wine. It was a day that uh, I think that John Riggie either got sentenced or indicted. The weekend that I was on the lamb, that was in 96, I believe. Ninety-five. Yeah, he got indicted late, like mid to late nineties. Ninety-six, I think it was. And then he was supposed to get out, and then he had to do another yeah. plan. So he was break. on the news while I was on the lamb. It was crazy to see. Yeah. And I, I, I this is a story I'm not proud of. Um, he was going to get out, and then his former son-in-law, Sean Richards, who screwed around on his daughter and left with his protection program with his sister. I met him through somebody. And he hung out in Jersey. He said his name was Jimmy. I didn't know that was him. And I was actually related to the Riggies through marriage. And I was like sickening that I sat down and broke bread with this guy. And he was a wow. reason. Just don't uh, know, man. You know? So hold on. I just got to check. Um, let me go. Questions. We talked a little about Richardi. Um, let me just see. Yeah, I think part of the strength, and it was a little before your time, what made the Genevieve strong was um, they had the mayor, Newark, uh, in their back pocket, wasn't it? At, at Adonazio. Adonazio. You had Adonazio. That's in the 70s, 80s. So. I think he was a mate guy as well. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he was. Now, this is an area that I'm telling you I'm fascinated with. Those are the county. Which of the families do you think are still present in Newark, Hoboken, and New Jersey City today? You don't have to say names. But which families do you think are still present? I mean, I can't say. I don't know, but I can't see why not everybody is. I, I don't. I don't recall Columbo's ever being too big in Jersey. My personal opinion. How about I yourself? No, they weren't. Yeah. And then I was, um, you know, because we, we were doing a show one night, and we talked about like like uh, Hudson County, how there was much less wise guys than you think. Then somebody turned me on to again a Genovese crew out of the, out of Bayonne, and I looked it up, and they turned out to be, um, uh, you know, pretty pretty um, pretty powerful. I, I can't uh, see why they all wouldn't be operating. I mean, I wouldn't. Yeah, can't see why they would, but I can't see why they wouldn't either. Now this may be more of a consulting question versus firsthand, but one of the things that really was strong is with the unions. Yes, in the labor racketeer yes. theory. Uh, they controlled a lot of the, the local unions in Jersey. How did that work? You know, give us kind of like your perception of how Riggy and his guys controlled so, the construction trade in Jersey. See, my 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 a lot of guys got into the union, so I guess they call it corruption, but we didn't know any different. So yeah, I don't know. You know, Sal needs a job. Yeah, I'm in the union. I, I, it's what we did. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what union corruption is unless it's on a higher level. Than what we would know. Yeah. You know, most of the people I would know would be the blue collar aspect, right? Good point. Good They're going to work on the on the docks or the carpenters or whatever it might be. So we wouldn't know that aspect. Yeah, if you look at it in Jersey, in the unions, who comes up? The Genovese again. And they were very big in the ILA and still are. So, you know, sure. Those guys. Absolutely. How, how, and this, I'm most fascinated with this too. You may or may not know, but. How did the Philly mob set up a crew based in North Jersey? Yeah. I know they did. And did they have issues with New York families operating North Jersey? I know part of why Tony Caponegro was killed, other than killing Bruno, was that was because he wanted to sit down against Bunzi Thierry involving gambling interests in his prior. Yeah, the, the Philly had Philly crew had a uh, Philly had a crew in North Jersey. Yes. Right. Where were they at? Newark, everybody. Never an issue. Everybody was here. Well, there was like seven families in Newark. The five everybody was here except for the, the Cavalcante family. Really. 
and maybe the Columbos weren't, maybe the Benin was a little bit, but everybody was here. Everybody got along. There was never beefs between the guys. Everybody really knew each other. So a lot of guys grew up together. These are guys that are older than me, grew up together, but ended up in different factions, different crews, different families. But everybody got along. Like I said, on Saturday night, everybody would be at the same club. Interesting. No now, issue. Now, when John, when, when John, uh, John Johnny Boy D'Amato was accused of being gay, I think it was by his girlfriend, yeah. um, ironically. Um, yeah. Do you think there's any truth to that, or it might have been like a false wire? What years were they? Swinging years? Who knows what they did back then? They were freaking crazy. Good point. You know? Any information, and I don't know if you want to show this anyway, any information about murder Genevieve's acting capo, Larry Ritchie? Just that he was, uh, that was a crazy day. I remember when it happened. Yeah. I remember when he disappeared. And then they found him behind the diner. I think they found him behind the diner. Was that the one the guy? I think on I think in on Route Twenty Two maybe they found Wait, him was, the behind the diner. I was found in uh, the Huck Finn Diner in Union. Yeah, I think so. And then I remember he, that. And then DeGilio got killed. He was a big Genovese guy too. Yep. John John DeGilio. Yeah. Yeah, they found like one of them. I don't know. And I got if somebody. I know they found. I remember. I remember when Ricky disappeared, and then I remember when they found him in the trunk. I think it was in the trunk behind a diner, like a week I later. I think it was a Huck Finn Diner by me in Union, New Jersey. Yeah, insane, crazy. Um, any boot versus longies info or guest to chat about that? I guess I think you're a hundred, but um, no, I didn't but know. I, know. I, think I, I just teed you up as a mob guy talking about history, so they didn't know the the time, uh, the time of reference. But longie was uh, longie's wo woman, woman yeah, place? yeah. I guess they did business together. The boot, his presence is still here. He's still here in some type of spirit. I'll yeah. tell you why. The church I go to, as soon as you walk in and you look to the right, the first stained glass window in St. Lucie's Church is from Mr. and Mrs. Biardo. Wow. It's right there. Then I'll tell you what happened. Yeah, please. St. Lucie's Church. I, do you know of St. Lucie's Church? It's on 7th Avenue. It's in Newark. It's in the North Newark. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was the... That was the Italian epicenter, basically, a little Italy. Yeah. So Joe DiMaggio used to come there and, you know, all, all celebrities. So uh, the church ran short of funds when they were finishing up some work. It was like they were like a million short. They were trying to raise money, trying to raise money. An anonymous donor donated the last $1 million. They don't know if it's Richie the Boots family or Joe DiMaggio's family. Oh, shit. They that finished did. the job and it looks beautiful. But they, uh, it was in what do you call it? You know, um, you know, anonymous, anonymous donor. Interesting. All right. So, uh, did you know the legendary Ray Tango? The name ring a bell? Name does, but you know, before me. Yeah, I, 